Hi, I'm Dave Barney, Product Manager for our TV Attribution Product. And I'm here today with David Murphy, our TV Attribution Global Product Expert. Today we're going to walk you through the TV Spot File Guidelines. When you're uploading TV spots into the TV Attribution Product, you have to make sure that we have all of the correct fields and that they're formatted correctly. And so David, why don't you walk us through the proper way to format our TV Spots file? Yeah, sure thing Dave. Let's dive in. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to go over some of the key high-level uh, metrics you need to put in. So the first one is date, and just want to call out you have to have it in the month, day, year format, um, otherwise the TV attribution product won't accept it. Um, time, just stick to hour, hour, minute, minute. So even if you have 6 a.m., make sure you put a zero in front, just so it plays ball. Um, network, that's just string, so like letters, numbers, symbols, that's all fine. Impressions, make sure that's a number. Um, and make sure to not have any commas in there. That's really helpful. Country, again, that just follows a specific country code, which you'll find in the Help Center article. Similar for time zone. So that's when this each spot aired, what time zone is it running in? And again, follow the naming convention as in the Help Center article. Next up we have cost, just again make sure it's a number, no symbols, no commas. And then next we're going to look at um, creative, that's just once again strings, um, symbols, letters, numbers. Duration is just um, numbers, the integer for this case. Programs, once again we're going to have string, same for genre, and we're going to round off with currency. And again that just follows a certain naming convention outlined in the Help Center article. So once you've done all that, your file should start to look like this, where in this case, this, this um, example is 100% perfect and every row will be uploaded. Um, one thing to watch out for, I like to call phantom rows. And I'm going to show you in this other tab here, where essentially it looks identical to the other data file we just saw, but there are four rows here where there's kind of blank but filled out rows. So I've done equations in here and I've kind of deleted the cells. But um, the CSV file still thinks that that's an actual row which should be counted when I save the file. So when you look at um, the actual CSV file itself in a text editor, you can see here there's four empty rows with commas. Now if you upload that into the TV, um, TV attribution tool, it's going to get rejected. So if you encounter that, the fix is very easy. All you have to do is select the rows in question. Here it's these four and you just edit and then delete them. And then once you save that and upload it, you'll have no worries. Great. Thanks, David, for walking us through that. Uh, there's a lot of information there, a lot of details on the specific format of some of those fields. All of those are detailed in our Help Center article, and look for the link for that in the description of this video. Thank you.